Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Five. Its title is Save Environment. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today under the title of oral communication skill, we are going to learn how to lead and follow. Before this, in your English for grade two, you have learned to take turns, right? So one after the other, one after the other. We are going to learn further to demonstrate conventions and dynamics of oral interactions in group to lead and follow this is our today's slo let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah an nisa verse 59 o believers obey allah and obey the messenger sallallahu alaihi wa sallam and those in authority among you yes my dear students what this beautiful verse is telling us Beta Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us everything in Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us whenever you are going to do something, number one, obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, obey the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whatever our beloved prophet, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, we are bound to follow it. We should do as per the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as per the sunnah and hadith of our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And who is next? Authority. Allah, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given authority. And who your authority is? Your parents, your teacher, your elder. So, beta, Allah is saying you should follow them as well. Okay? Whoever is your well-wisher, Whoever is given authority, a command upon you, you should follow that person, okay? So, to follow the command of your parent is just like you follow you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you understand? That's why better we should obey our parents, our elders, our grandparents, our teachers, right? Do you understand? Okay, so today we are going to learn about lead and follow first you tell me what does lead and follow mean what do you understand by these terms whatever comes in your mind pause the video answer this question to your teacher and then come back yes my dear students what does lead mean so one who is maybe passing on instructions that means lead and follow means who obey those instructions so better sometime we are uh, like our elders are leading us and sometimes we have to lead our youngest. So we should know how to lead and we should know how to follow. This is what in our today's lecture we are going to learn. So lead means a person who has been given an authority to command and follow means to obey the instructions. Do you understand? So lead means a person who is authority, like in classroom, your teacher is authority, I'm authority. Whatever you want to do, first you will ask from me, first you will take the permission from your teacher. So this is what authority means. And in teacher's absence, if, for example, teacher asks the monitor, stand here and keep discipline in the class. So that person, that uh, monitor becomes the authority. So we are supposed to follow that person okay so this is what lead and follow me and maybe if at your home your mother says okay take care of your younger brother or your sister uh, he or she is sitting with you at that time you become authority and your younger sibling uh, supposed to follow you do you understand now can you differentiate okay let's practice it look at this picture who is the leader Yes, the mama duck is leader. She is leading and she is not saying anything. All the uh, ducklings are following the mother. Okay, this is how lead means. And this is how follow me. Mama duck is leading 
and ducklings are following mama duck. Do you understand? Okay. In next example, you see one is doing something, the other person is following. This is how one. So, beta our acts, we should be very careful. If we are doing good and others are following us, so we will be good leader. So, we should always set a an example of good leader. Okay, now all of you, let's practice this question number 11 in your book. Here, lead and follow in a group project. Okay, so there are there is a group of children, they are sitting and how they are following and leading each other. Look at this. One is saying, please, everyone look at me, cut the paper as I do. Okay, now she is leading the group. Okay, and when one is leading, rest are supposed to follow. She is saying, everyone look at me and cut the paper as I do. Others will say, sure, let's start. Okay, I'm ready. Yes, I'm following you, right? So, Peter, this is how we are supposed to follow our leader. When a leader is there, we should follow. And if this is, this leader is you, then you should lead by setting a good example. Do you understand? Leader doesn't mean you become rude and you say, don't do this. Don't. Be very nice when you are leader and be very obedient when you are a follower. Okay. Okay. So, let's practice it through an activity. What we are going to do? Your teacher will divide class in five groups. One of them will be group leader. Okay. Better your teacher will make one of you a group leader and you are supposed to follow that person. Teacher will create a scenario. You are planning to decorate your classroom. For example, the teacher says you are going to decorate your classroom. Each group will come in front of the class to display a role play. How the group leader will pass on the instructions and how rest of the team members will respond to follow. The leader and the follower. One thing which is must for all of us, we need to be very kind and courteous. We should use good words. So, pause the video, enjoy this activity and come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you enjoyed this activity. Good job. Now, all of you settle down on your seats. Here is another activity. What you will do, this poem is given in your book. So, teacher once again make groups, make a group leader to make tone and proper intonation and rhythm of this poem and let rest of the members to follow it. So, pause the video, enjoy reciting this poem and then come back. Okay, good job. It's time for your homework. You will practice to lead and follow instructions in group with your siblings, okay? At your home, how you will follow and lead. And we'll record this activity and we'll share this activity with your teacher. And better if you cannot record, at least you should ask your parents to sign your diary that you practice this at your home. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students. So what we have learned? We learned the conventions and the dynamics of oral interaction in a group to lead and follow. And that's what our SLO is to demonstrate conventions and dynamics of oral interactions in group to lead and follow. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.